Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you doing this fine day? Me? I'm feeling more connected than ever before with the trending topics in the world because I've been using Google Trends. Let's take a look at it today on Dotto Tech. One of the challenges that I and other content creators face is staying relevant, making sure that the topics that we are interested in sharing with our community are of interest to our community. And the way, one of the ways that we can do that is by staying on top of some different research tools. Now, one of the most valuable research tools, I think, is also a free research tool called Google Trends. You can find it just by looking up Google Trends in Google and depending on where you are, when you open Google Trends, it will bring you to a screen that looks much like this, which talks about trending stories, and they'll base it to start on your geographic area. Now, this is based on what people are looking for in Google, what's happening in search. So you know how when you go into the uh, when you go into the search bar and you start typing in how, how things autofill? This is kind of similar to that. These are the most relevant search terms that of things that are happening in Google. What are people looking for right now? And because I'm based in Canada right now, these are the stories that are trending at this moment. Now this is in all categories. The cool thing about this is we can start to dive down and drill a little bit deeper. So we can say, since I am not interested in all categories necessarily, I might be a little bit more interested in what's happening in science and technology. I can go and see exactly what people are searching for at any particular time in the technology area here in Canada. But since only a, I live in Canada, but only a small part of my audience lives in Canada, so let's instead change the criteria here and let's see what they're interested in in science and technology in the United States. And now we start getting some other stories. Oh, and the number one search is Apple and Bob Mansfield. Why? I don't know, do you know? We click on it and it brings up the reason. In this particular case, the reason is that apparently Bob Mansfield is taking over an Apple car project. So people are starting to look into that. And you can see that the news probably just dropped very recently and all of a sudden it's starting to trend as far as search interest goes. So this allows you to basically look at exactly what people are looking for and what's relevant at this moment. Now, where does this fit in the content creation universe? Well, if you're writing a blog or creating a video and you're wondering, maybe you're juggling around a few different topics that you might want to write about or a different angle that you want to take, you can use this tool to determine what's going to resonate the most with the largest number of people. Now, this is the general world. This isn't necessarily just your audience. So you have to understand what your audience is looking for as well. Uh, but it does give you a good idea, uh, you know, kind of diving in and working from that perspective. Now, you can also go in and you can start to explore in more detail. For example, we've been doing a lot on Evernote. So I'm going to type in Evernote and let's see what's happening with the term Evernote. Now, we see here how relevant the Evernote is as a search term over time. Now this is fairly valuable, but let's see how valuable this is when I compare it with the new darling on the Notepad universe. And we've been doing a lot of videos on OneNote as well. So let's compare what's happening in people's search between Evernote and OneNote. So let's add that. And when we do that, look what we get. We see how much searching is being done in OneNote. And what we see is over time that OneNote is closing the gap right now to the point that it's being searched for a lot more. So if I'm thinking about doing a video on Evernote or OneNote or maybe on both, this gives me a lot of feedback as to what people are most interested in at this particular moment and it's trend, how it's trending. You can also break it down by regions and other, uh, and other types. You know, you can keep diving deeper and deeper. And if you want to be a total data nerd, you can probably get incredibly deep as far as the type of information that you're going to be searching for. But for you and I, just this ability to see what's trending, what people are thinking about, what they're talking about, and what's the most popular topics at any one time, rather than just looking in the news, you can see what's trending by checking out Google Trends. 
I hope this valley, this video today has been useful. Now, there's three ways for you to stay in touch with us here on Dottotech. The first is please subscribe to our channel. The second is subscribe to our newsletter. That way I can let you know about all of our upcoming tutorials and webinars, our different classes and other offerings from the Dottotech world. And finally, Dottotech is a community funded channel supported by the generosity of you folks at the crowdfunding site, Patreon. I encourage you to drop by our Patreon page, have a look and discover what perks are included if you should decide to support Dottotech, which we do appreciate. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle. Thank you.